Welcome everyone to another guide I thought I'd put together. Um, this time for race strategy, getting your race strategy, your pit stop strategy prepared for an endurance race. So I hope that again this will help some of those of you who are a bit newer to ACC. Um, be prepared for the race. You're just gonna, you, know, you you want your pit stop strategy, your fuel, your tyres. You want to have that all set, all right. All you get, all you have to worry about is just putting in the lap times during the race. Um, now the first thing is getting a little bit of practice in is always important. And here I've just done about half a dozen laps now on a almost fuel tank. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just getting some tyre pressure information and fuel use information. Um, so I've done that now, I'm liking the tyre pressures and we're going to return to pits now and we'll start looking at setting up our pit stop strategy, setting up our tyres, setting up our fuel. So we go back to setup and now when you return to pits you get this bit of information here and it'll tell you what the last reading was when you were out on track of what your tyre pressures were. Um, and that's really good information to have, that's how you work out what your tyre pressures, what you should set these tyre pressures to for the start of the race, for quality, for whatever. Um, and it's always going to be relative to the conditions. Um, now I didn't quite get these tyre pressures right, the fronts are a little hot, but not too much. Um, and so what you'll find over a race stint is that early on the tyres will actually be a little bit higher in pressure and they'll actually fall off a little bit. And this is uh, a bit exaggerated even more so in rear engine cars and the Porsche, especially with the fuel tank at the front. I find that the front tyres work really hard in the early part of a stint and then it gets a little bit easier on them as there's less fuel in the front of the car. So I'm not I'm okay with these being a little high. I want them in between 28 and 27.5, but that's a bit too much. So I'm just gonna take two clicks out. I'm gonna say that those are the pressures that I want. I'm happy with those pressures for these conditions. So we'll go across to our fuel strategy. Um, and I've this is where we're gonna set up our fuel. We're gonna set up our pit stop strategies so we're ready to go for the race. Gonna have no surprises. The next bit of information we got from that is a few laps we just did was our fuel per lap at 2.26. Um, now I've been doing my own fuel calcs in the past and it's caught me out a few times. I just put it in my phone on a calculator because I'm, yeah, I'm a financial analyst, I know maths, so I should be able to work it out myself and it should work right, but apparently not. So I just went into Google, found the first fuel calc that I could get. Um, and put in the numbers. So race length for 120 minutes. I expected a lap time and I'm going to say probably around 124 um, I expected to do and my full per lap 2.67 and the the, uh, the fuel calc tells me that recommended fuel is 198 safe fuel with uh, formation lap is 200. We're going to need 200 litres Imagine these are all wrong as well Sorry for the demonstration. So depending on what I want to do, I want to have enough fuel to start the race and then add it in in my pit stop to cover that, cover 200 litres. Um, and from a little bit of practice that I've done, I know I'm comfortable with having a little bit heavier fuel in. So let's say we want to start the race a little heavier and then we can fuel a bit lighter in the second part of the race. Maybe just a little bit extra just to make sure. And that will mean we'll have good pace in the second half of the race. The next thing we want to do is these tyre pressures. Very important that over here we've got the tyre pressure set how we want them. Very important that you then go to use current pressures. If you've done some practice, done some a few more laps, um, whatever, and you find that you don't like these and you, you want to change them, you make any changes here, Make sure you then go to your fuel strategy and hit use current pressures and update this. That's our dry pit stop. We also want to prepare just in case a wet pit stop if we need to stop for wets. Um, one more thing in the dry setup, I like to do this, go to tyre set 20, um, just to make sure that you're going to have a fresh set of tyres for, um, for the pit stop that you put on fresh tyres, not a used set. For example here you can see that 
set one is used i've used that set there's a bit of wear there no graining or anything i've only done like five laps on them um and you want to do the same thing for the start of the race make sure you start on a set that's hasn't been used in quality or practice so you might want to go to like set five that'll make sure that you haven't used those set, that set yet and you can see that by all the wear numbers should be free no graining no blister no no flat spots then we can go to our wet setup so go to setup number two and then you can change the tires to it if they're dry change them to wet there's no tire set here you get an unlimited number of wet tires so you don't have to um, set a tire set number again have the, the same fuel ready to go and what I find is, it's good if you've done some practice in the wet and you've got an idea of what pressures you want to use but if you don't you can still what you can do is use your current pressures and then add add some temp to it this is a cold quite a cold track so you wouldn't expect that you'd need too much more temp probably 1.5 psi more um, because wet tires when in the wet you want your tire pressures to be once they warm up to be between 30 and 31 psi quite a bit more pressure than in the dry i'm just going to add one psi to these in fact i got that wrong i'm going to add that to 28.2 i'm going to add 1.5 so i'm going to add it to that I'll change that to 28 i go to 28.7 and 27, 28.2. Okay, now, now our pit stop strategies are ready to go. In fact, I put 90 litres there, so let's put the same here, 90 litres. We're all set to go. We'll save the setup, so we've got that ready to go. If you've prepared this beforehand, before you get on the server, you want it ready, and my setup's I'm always gonna be quite descriptive. It's race setup my latest version v3 and then i put the um, ambient temperature track temperature so i know that that this setup these tire pressures are for these conditions and if i've done the practice and i know different sort of tire temps for different conditions i'll save different setups so that i can just change the setup everything else is going to be the same on the setup the only difference is going to be the tire pressures the tire pressures for the pit stop if we haven't done the practice and we get into at the start of the race and the conditions are 32 degrees which is what we've had the race prior hand we don't have any idea what the tire pressures we want are but we, you can still estimate it um, and a lot of the guides i see say for every extra one degree of track temp you should take out uh, 0.1 psi of pressure I have found, in my experience, it's probably more like a two to three ratio. So if you say every three degrees warmer it gets, you want to take about 0.2 psi out. So assuming we've got, we're ready to go at the start of the race and suddenly we realize the track temp's 32 degrees, and we've got these track, these temperatures, we haven't practiced, we don't know what pressures we want, we'll just calculate it. 32, that's 17 degrees warmer. So let's say about Two thirds of that 12 degree 12 psi we want to take out uh 1.2 psi from all these tires so we're going to change this down to six and change this down to 25.3 change this down to 25.5 change this one to uh 26 and then again, anytime we've made a change to the pressures here, make sure you go to your fuel strategy, pit stop one, your dry strategy, use current tire pressures. Um, you can keep the wets the same. Then we can save that. Um, put it on the same setup. This time we'll change setup name. And just from memory, I think normally the ambient temperature's about 27 and the track temperature 32 save that we've now got our setup our tire temps for a 32 degree conditions they might not be perfect but they're going to be somewhere in the window that they're actually at least livable and then by having set the current tire pressures here once we get into the end of our first stint we've got a point of reference in that uh, pit menu 
where you set what you want it's already set up for you the tire pressures are exactly the same as you set at the, at the start of the race so if you've gone through that stint and you find your tire pressures are a little bit too low you can then make small adjustments to these figures while you're racing and should get somewhere closer in your second stint and be set to have a really have some really good race pace after that if you've got random pressures set here you have no idea and you're not going to be able to work that out as you're racing you're never going to remember what these pressures were that you started the race with so super important always have your tire pressures in your pit stop strategy set do these things and then all you've got to worry about is your race pace go out there and do your laps and you've got your strategy and everything um, set up for you that's the worst thing to have good pace and then ruin your whole race because you haven't set this up ready to go yeah give that a go hope it helps out